connect streaming connect streaming here we go hello everybody i am the antediluvian king asa you probably don't know me you probably haven't seen me in a long time this is my new setup my new computer and what better way to inaugurate this than by uh just streaming uh today i have fun topics for you <laughs> and we already have one viewer yay the ba babelian ghost i i am older than than the tower of babel myself <laughs> so um I didn't know whether to t make another video about World Cup or talk about this one subject that, that that just hits me because I've been I've been playing this one cute little game called Cult of the Lamb and <laughs> suddenly I didn't know that that there is a bunch of fundamental Christians that are um <laughs> going nuts over this cutesy little game. <laughs> So I'm like, shit, do I make a video about World Cup again? Or do I just uh, talk about what I want to talk about? Because <laughs> I've been enjoying the shit out of this little game. I just bought it out of curiosity. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. Did you get it through the, the, thank, the Thanksgiving sale? The I got it through the... Yes, I did get it through the Thanksgiving sale. And I had a lot of fun with it. And I, I have maybe, what, like a... I don't even know if I have more than 50 hours on it yet. I can but check. Do you want me to? I, I can check. <laughs> <laughs> but I am the antediluvian king. <laughs> I, I have no idea how I, how I got that title suddenly, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. I'm still fat. I'm still fat and gay and fat. I'm probably fatter than you remember me, but that, that, that's also because I'm a decade older than you probably remember me. <laughs> that's if you remember me at all. <laughs> Most people don't. I gotta thank my, my buddy Godwinson. Kino Dogme 2007 indeed. Jankly Shankly says, 3-0 England, did you watch the game? Yes, I did. What a boring fucking game. And what a boring fucking game Excuse the France me. game was. I mean, yes, yes, bo both teams completely and utterly destroyed their opposition. Um, what can I say? Poland got absolutely destroyed. They had nothing. And Senegal got absolutely destroyed as well. They they didn't attack at all. They, <laughs> the, the few attacks they had, I mean, it wasn't even worth watching. We all knew it was going to happen. Once that second goal went went in, I'm like, oh, well, this sucks. I mean, one goal in, that's fine. You can still hope that there'll be some sort of fight, but there wasn't. And because of that, I'm like, well, gee, what's more interesting to talk about two European teams that went through that predictably everybody knew was were going to go through? Or do I want to talk about this game I love and all the people that hate it for no reason whatsoever? And I'm like, hmm. The better topic. This, which which topic is more fun today? I love World Cup. I I, I absolutely tune in and, and, and I'm 100% in World Cup once I'm watching it. But today just sucked. I mean... <laughs> Next reviewing a reviewer when. That's a good one. Anyhow... <laughs> World Cup so mid, I'd rather have a World Cup 2026 be hosted by Chris Boers than Qatar. How bad is Qatar? There's videos online. There's there's this channel I follow, uh, Pablo Carosa, who's a an, an Argentine. He used to be on on he used to be on on a sporting channel in Argentina, and he lost his job because he was too much of a fan and didn't want to talk about the news they wanted to. But anyhow, this Pablo Carosa guy, he uh, he got his ass to Qatar, and he doesn't have, like, a, a lot of money, so he is the regular tourist at Qatar. And on his channel, he shows just how bad the lodgings are for the people staying in Qatar. 
Qatar is a goddamn ghost town. And it's been like that since the beginning. Most Europeans don't want to go to Qatar. They're turning their backs on this tournament. So all the European fans you're seeing there are mostly Bangladeshi and in <coughs> Indian you know, people who are paid to, to, to root for these teams. Uh, the Argentine contingents, they, 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 didn't, uh, they didn't count on the Argentines being so numerous at World Cup. <laughs> so a lot of these Argentines found that there's a bunch of pseudo Argentina fans. They're just Indians and, and, and Bangladeshis that don't, lo don't know a lick of Spanish. And they're there rooting for Argentina, even though they didn't need to. They didn't need to. There's all these Argentine fans there, and there's videos of Argentine fans interacting with these other Argentine fans. And they can't even talk to them because they don't even speak the same language. Why do they do it? They do it because the Qataris need to make it seem like there's an actual party going on. But it's a ghost town. It's a ghost town. You should see these videos. You should see these, these videos by Pablo Carosa. They'll open your mind. There's these supermarkets. He, this guy goes in at 5 p.m. to a supermarket yeah. on, on what is called the, the Caravan City, uh -huh. which is where the fan party is supposed to be happening. Yeah. It's an absolute ghost town. There's no fans there. He goes at 5 p.m. to a store, and there's the shelves are completely stocked. Nobody oh there God. shopping. It's the, it's, just the, appear just the, the appearance, appearance they're giving to the general public, it, what they're showing is the you know the luxury spots in Doha. What they're not showing you is what the average Joe gets to pay 200 bucks a night for. Those people are not having a good World Cup. Because the reporters aren't even allowed to film. They take their fucking cameras away from them. <laughs> so, yeah, they take their cameras away from them and they're not allowed to 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 you know this Pablo guy is being really sneaky about it. <laughs> but he goes, he's filming what, what, what all the people don't want you to see. So, uh, yeah, all those England fans you're seeing are the ones that have lots and lots of money and are staying in the good parts of, of Doha. But anybody who, who is a regular average working Joe who paid themselves to make it to, to Qatar that are doing it out of, out of their own... Uh, they're not even getting potable water, folks, in their homes. <laughs> In their, their, their little trailers. They're these hastily made trailers where the workers are still sitting outside in the blazing sun and haven't even finished doing it. And it's going to be, it's a ghost town already. And it's going to be even more of a ghost town once the three or four fans who were dumb enough to pay to go there are gone. <laughs> and now that there's fewer teams, I mean, the part that was supposed to be the party, <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> Half the teams are already gone. There's only 12 teams left out of 32. 20 teams have gone. That means 20 sets of fans are all gone from Qatar now. So there's no party. And it seems like from the get-go there was no party. But uh, I, I invite you to watch these videos. They're in Spanish. I'll have to translate some of these things for you because what this guy's showing you is what the main media does not want to show you in Qatar. God bless this guy. This guy's dodging fucking Qatari cops and showing the parts of Qatar that, that the Qatari government doesn't want you to see. And I love it. I love that kind of reporting. I wish that kind of reporting was still, you know... Like a spider yeah, he's like a spider Jerusalem. He's telling it like it is. Because, yeah, is Qatar was a bad place to have this tournament. Anyway... <laughs> So this is the fire... Yeah, it is the fire festival of sporting events. It is. There's no party going on. Most Europeans are, are afraid to go there. And for obvious reasons. Because, you know, you, you can't kiss on the streets. You can't, uh, you, you can't... There's no booze. You know, the women have to be, you know, more or less uh, covered. You know, you don't want to get arrested, <laughs> you know. And the Qatari government right now is laxing their rules for just a month because they know that they can't put a whole shit ton of, of foreign people in jails. They're waiting for this thing to be over. <laughs> they hate their party right now because they're like, well, gee, we're no longer in the World Cup and now we have to deal with all these, these pricks that we don't like that have customs we hate. So what do we do? Well, let's just kind of wait until they leave and then we'll, we'll, it's all back to normal. They're, they're going to go back to their traditions. And most of the people that live there hate it. 
because you know they don't have religious freedoms the few you know christian and catholic churches they they don't they're not allowed to practice their religion they they do it in in little secret places where 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 they where they're not actively showing that they're christian that's just how bad of a country this is fuck qatar <laughs> okay because they don't give a fuck about you me or any else anybody else in the world so yeah I love all these people who are like, ah, oh, we need to respect, you know, Muslim culture and all that shit. Yeah, uh, but then you turn around and say, yeah, we also need to respect, you know, gay rights and all that and all that shit. Look, you can't have them both. You either like, you know, and support gay people and, and their rights, or you like and support Muslim nations and their rights. I mean, there, there's no having them both. You just can't. <laughs> there's it's impossible to 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 be on both sides here you have to do one or the other <laughs> and i love the hypocrisy the 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 beautiful hypocrisy that, that that is being shown at this world cup it's great these people have not seen what the quran says about atheism oh yeah <laughs> there's a reason i would never want to fucking go to qatar <laughs> nope <laughs> That's not the place for me. And that's a great segue for this for this next thing because I mean I okay, so I, I identify as an atheist, but you, you you anybody who's who's seen my channel for the last decade or so knows that I don't I don't shove my religious point of view on anybody. My philosophy is everybody should practice whatever like you should pray to whoever whatever god you feel is the one that makes you comfortable. You know, you should be allowed to worship your God, you know, open freedom of religion. What a concept, right? I mean, the only thing that I have against Muslims is when they start beheading gay people. Like, okay, you know, I'll respect your religion, but please don't practice those problematic parts of your religion around me. Like, you know, but, uh, uh, you know, I I'm all about practice whatever religion you want, right? And here, this one game comes out. Where you get to to basically be a cute little lamb, <laughs> and and the whole point of the game is uh, you're you're supposed to get these followers to to worship you, and in turn you are worshiping this guy who who who's a, who's an ancient god who gave you uh, life after four evil ancient religions came together and tried to sacrifice you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The world would be a better place if we could behead the, the drunken punks of the world. Uh, I'm not even, uh, you know, uh, just, just, just leave drunken punk alone. I mean, she has suffered enough for being who she is. I will respect her pronouns because we were, you know, ostensibly friends. I don't I don't know where, where, where that is right now because I haven't spoken to her in a long time. But, uh, hey, should, should, uh, should punk want to contact me? We're still cool, I hope. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, this game. So I don't know if you've if if you've seen this game, people. But uh, perhaps I need to play a few minutes of it, just to give you an idea of what it's like. And my autistic daughter there has her own religion there, the religion of. <laughs> and I let. Yeah, see, it's chanting. I let her practice her religion. <laughs> Let's boot up Cult of the Lamb. Hopefully it's in windowed mode. I had a hard time putting this in windowed mode earlier. Alright, window capture, window capture. One of these windows is it, hopefully. There we go. So... This is Cult of the Lamb. Maybe I should show... Yeah, well. oh. <laughs> There we go. There's a little bit of a delay there. Let me know if the game is too loud. Because if it is too loud, then I need to bring the, the volume down. Everybody can hear me and the game just fine. Just let me know. Cult of the Lamb was great, is great. I, I'm only now experiencing this game. <laughs> Not loud. Okay, perfect. Sweet. But yeah, I, I named my, my cult the Kage no Usagi, the, <laughs> the uh, shadow bunnies. 
because I turned all of my villagers into bunnies. He wanted me to take an interest, so he made all I wanted my wife to take an interest, and she loves bunnies. Okay, Janie, go ahead and do your chanting. So, a lot of these bunnies are all like, Ooh, you know, pentagram, ew, no, pentagram, demonic things. The visuals, there's, there's my cute little bunnies who are high off their asses. Because uh, I just did a, before I, before I turned my game off last night, I, I did this, uh, I did this ritual where I, I got them all high on mushrooms, so right now they're completely and utterly high off their balls and devoted to me. And I am getting their yummy prayers off of the statue of me that I had them build. And these prayers enable me to build more buildings. Things like crops, you know, graveyards for, for them, yeah. They're in really nice homes that I built for them. You know, anybody who says Satanism is... <laughs> By the way, there's no mention of Satan in this game. They just said, ew, pentagram, there's, there's Satanism, there's, there's too much Satanism in this game. No, th no, there isn't, folks. There's no mention of Satan, you're not a Satanist. None of the four gods that you have to go destroy are Satan, or named Satan. Not a single one. There's, there's, there, there's no, there, yeah, there's no mention of Yahweh, there's no mention of none of that. I'm gonna make a bunch of gold bars. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, obviously, the developers took great pains to, to make a, a cult a cult game where you are a deity that that has these 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 uh, guys worshiping you. I find the game to be fun as hell. So there's two two parts to this game. There's the the civilization building part, which is this, right? And then there's the Legend of Zelda esque. You know, going through dungeons and going and killing things part. So, in, in essence, you have two games in one here. Now that we've unlocked divine inspiration, let's, uh... Let's see, tabernacle... Yeah, let's do that. A place for followers who are not worshipping to pray through... Yeah, yeah, yeah. To pray throughout the day. Just pray to me. Pray to me. Pray to me all day long. So there's these there's these fundy YouTubers who are all like, no, oh, this this game is evil. It's the most evil thing, and kids are being destroyed by a game. Uh, folks, it's not being marketed to kids. It just has these cutesy graphics, you know. It has an upside down cross. Oh no, with two uh, flamey things like next to it. This isn't Satanism. It's just pseudo, you know, evil imagery, I guess. But here's the thing is, this game has a, has a, um, there, there's no morals in question here. What you do isn't called evil. When you do what we would normally call evil things, like, say, kill a follower, right? It doesn't, it doesn't, uh, punish or reward you for killing that, that, as a matter of fact, uh, I saw a YouTube video where someone killed their entire village. And it turns out that you lose if if you don't have at least one person praying to you. So you lose power by killing too many of your villagers. So you have to do this like juggling act of getting rid of your, your bad villagers and keeping your good villagers. It's just a game. And it's the same argument we've been saying for years of, oh, video games cause sexism, video games cause violence. Video games turn you into a cult leader now. They don't. Um, I've already played this for over a week now, and I still have not had the desire to go out and stand out in front of the Walmart with a sign saying, Join my cult, please. Uh, hail Satan. I have not done that. So, um, there is no Satan in this game. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But here, let me show you the other, the other game. The, the, the first game is, is, you know, city management. The second part of the game is the... See, you can even save this poor little little guy over here. You pay money, and now you're my follower in, instead of getting eaten by a spider. Do you want to get eaten by a spider, or do you want to join my religion? Of course you want to join my religion. You don't want to get eaten by a spider. There you go. And, uh, yeah, I have space for you. Uh, the only thing is my religion... 
My religion is, is very bunny-centric, so, um, you gotta be a bunny. Sorry, bro, and you gotta be a pink bunny, because I don't have a pink bunny right now. You gotta be a bunny. You get to keep your name, but you gotta be a bunny. And if you want to leave my cult and start talking shit about me, um, yeah, I'll either kill you or put you in jail. Other than that, you're free! <laughs> Go, worship me. Come along, worship- and here's the thing is, they don't even cook their own food- These motherfuckers will starve to death if you do not feed them. So, uh... Yeah, yeah. So you have to- you can be a benevolent leader, you can starve them to death, you can do whatever you want. You are their cook, you are their- ah, shit. <laughs> I, you are their custodian. You do whatever the hell you want to them. Part of the game is, hey, you want to be benevolent to them and feed them? You want to starve them to death? Both options. <laughs> the answer is, of course, yes. <laughs> Which, whichever you want to do, you can do. Getting all that faith from my followers. Yummy, yummy faith. Oh, yeah. So now I'm gonna go to the evil forest. I mean, look look how... Look how all this... Doesn't this make you want to worship Satan? Doesn't this hurt kids? So, it's a roguelike. So you're gonna get a weapon and a magic. Which, you know... Later on you can modify however you like. Uh, the dagger doesn't hit very hard, but it hits fast, so... The other extreme is a big-ass hammer that is very slow, but insta-kills literally everything, so... Yeah. So yeah, see, this is that Legend of Zelda part. Here's the spell part. See, you collect, you know, bits of metal, grass, whatever you, you find that, that you can use to build. Here's where you get the shit that you build your town with, basically. Can you get JD off of me, sweetie? <laughs> I, I know the answer is probably no, but... Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah, this is this is supposedly the satanic game that is that is warping children's minds. They said that about Pokemon, they said that about, you know, rock and roll. They've been saying it for a long time. Oh god. Yikes. Ah! <laughs> I'm in a, a more difficult part of the game right now here, but when I first started, the monsters were not this difficult. You collect their bones, by the way. Anytime you kill a monster, you get their bones, and those bones you use to do to do uh, rituals back back in your... Oh no, Tidy has become gravely ill and will die in if he doesn't rest. Oh, I'm gonna have to gonna go have to help my bunnies. I'll either kill them or heal them. On stuff. I, I need stuff. All right. Uh, depends. It just see that's the thing is this is like Animal Crossing on crack. <laughs> and, and I hate that I'm so lazy that I can't come up with a better analogy than that right now. But uh, yeah, basically, uh, this is Animal Crossing done right. <laughs> Your villagers, these villagers have way more personality. JD, come on. These villagers have way more personality than than the Animal Crossing ones, where they're all like, hi, hi, I'm a cutesy little animal, and that's all that I am. Yeah, yeah, I know. The earlier, you know, the earlier versions, yeah, the one on the GameCube had balls, like. You know, they had animals that cursed your existence. You're the meanest person in... Yeah. They were douchebags. But now now it's like so, you know... That's the whole reason why I haven't returned to Animal Crossing. 
Oh, well, you have, but you haven't enjoyed it as much as the original. Let's see, do I want more hearts, or rolling into an enemy will damage the- Ooh, um, yeah, you know what? I guess the way I go back will be like, where have you been all this time? Well, I guess everything's okay, and they won't even be mad that I was gone all this Yeah. Now, now, the, now the animals in Animal Crossing just get sad when you abandon them. These ones are like, our god is back! And this one, you are, <laughs> you, you get to be there. Ah, oh, god damn. <laughs> Me, damn it. Me, damn it. Ah, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm distracted just talking about the darn game. What I need is is the uh, the the weapons that enable me to get hearts for killing my enemies. I hate that that thing's got spikes. Yes. Oh, thank God! Please be a full heal. No, it's just a one heart heal. Hey, then I'll take it. But yeah, it, it's nonsense. This game is a lot of fun, and it's the main reason why it takes me forever to, to make videos now. <laughs> it is pretty addicting after a while. I feel the Satanism. I feel myself becoming more satanic. Oh no. I feel like I'm gonna start, you know, praising Lord Satan. Simply because I'm playing this game. Hail Satan. Oh no. This game is turning me into a Satanist. Oh no. I feel the evil in my bones. Yeah, who's left to kill me? I love that those are homing. I need more hearts. I am sucking at this right now. <laughs> I, I, I'm the kind of guy that can't walk and chew bubblegum at the same time, so I can't play and talk at the same time. <laughs> I can't type and talk. I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm a weird, weird beast like that. But it's, it's, it's just a game. I just, I, I don't get the. I, I guess I do get it because people always want something to complain about. This is for all those people who think that I only go after SJWs. No, this time it's the other guy's turn. Do I want... Do I want to go there, or do I want shit? I can't believe shit it. Like leads me to a follower. Oh, no, because it's annoying. It's like, hey, how about how about this for a change? Let people enjoy the... What good are hearts if they cannot be given? Let's see, choose a big gift, follow reform, blueprint, ambrosia. Increased curse attack damage rate. You know what? I'll take it. Yay. <laughs> oh, yeah. You shouldn't have told me about about all these fundies. Because they've been. Ooh, look at all the gifts I can give my my followers. Is me ranting? Is fundies? That's just the thing is, this game is not, there's no part of this game that says, hey, you must believe in such and such religion, so and so, none of that. As you can see, it's literally, it's just that, what, what people are objecting to is the imagery. And the imagery isn't necessarily satanic either. People got the wrong impression of... Yep. Ah, I got out of that just in time just to get hit by another one. Shit, bomb. 
Hey, no fair. He's not even... Like, he's, he's off screensies. I can't even hit you there. Game. Game, you're cheating. The computer is a cheating bastard. Look, look where they... Look where the guy is. I can't hit him where he is. I don't even have any spell magic. And the worst part is that... There we go. That was a little on the annoying side. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, yeah, hey, is anybody a Satanist yet? Have you turned Have you turned into a Satanist from, from watching me play this? Right? Because, yeah, if, 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 if you're not a Satanist after watching this gameplay, then you're doing it wrong. Oh shit. I'm I'm not in good shape. Ah! I got killed. Martyred. You shall rise again. Yeah, the game gets harder and harder. It's just a matter of getting good. Get good. Alright. I heard there was a sick one of you guys is sick. Where's the sick guy? I've been kind of like a combination in this in this playthrough. I've been both malevolent and benevolent. But that's just the thing is the game doesn't say hey killing is wrong. It doesn't say hey feeding your people is wrong. Yeah, you know? it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't make a moral call one way or another. It just gives you the option to be nice to your villagers or be a total dick to them if you want to. It doesn't tell you hey this is right this is wrong. It doesn't it doesn't even go there. And I think that's a smart uh, way to, to go about it. You know? It doesn't out and out say this is wrong to do, this is immoral. It doesn't. It let it lets you it lets you feed poop to your villagers if you want, and it lets you feed, you know, regular food to them if you want. It's not a it, it doesn't make a, a morality call for you. I did hear that there was a Faith is really low right now. Where's my sick guy? Find him, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> the fuck is my sick guy? I don't see no sick guy. Yeah, I called one of them Kill Me. You know, his name is Kill Me. Yeah, because my my whole intention was to kill him. All right, let's heal. Kill me. All right, kill me. But only because I, because I wanted to know where you were. Hey, kill me. Oh yeah, I didn't go with the kill option on this playthrough, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna inspire you. Look how evil I am, inspiring, inspiring my bunnies. I do know that one of my rituals enables me to kill. Alright. Oh, here's here's the sermon part. Yeah, they're adorable. I'm like, Hail me! Give me all your love and devotion. And then they're all like, Yay! Look how, look how Satanist this is. Anyhow, we're gonna dance around the fire because there's, faith is, faith is at an all-time low and Let's stand up, it's <laughs> See? They're happy bunnies. They're happy bunnies. See, I can I can feed them shrooms in a brainwashing ritual. I can make it a holy day, you know. I can sacrifice the flesh. You know? Here's the thing is, there's two different ways to kill things. You can either sacrifice their flesh, or you can 
ascend the follower. <laughs> all the followers gain loyalty, and they all get to kill so Either you mass murder them, everybody gets to kill them, or you kill them yourself. So if you want to share the kill and call it a, a holy thing, <laughs> you can marry your followers. You can you can designate a follower to, to enforce... Oh, that means you can make it to a sex cult. Yes, you can make this a sex cult, too. It's like, you can, you can be a communist cult, you can be a capitalist cult, you can do whatever the hell you want, I love it. But no, it's immoral. No, the, the kids, the, the, this is this is rotting our kids' brains. Here, let's ascend, kill me. So you can see, you know, everybody puts on their. <laughs> All right. All right, kill me. We're gonna kill you. <laughs> see, he ascends. Splorch. Oh, his meat doesn't even fall. Like, see, they even give tithing because I'm a ca I'm a very capitalist uh, church. church in right? This is <laughs> this is every church in America. I can even do a malevolent like, kill. Like What's funny is the rituals are all different depending on on what uh, uh, on what what your rules are. Like, here's my doctrines right now: belief in the afterlife. Ritual of Resurrection, Respect Your Elders, Grieve the Fallen. Yeah, Respect Your Elders? Oh my god, this must be such a Satanist game. Industrious Trait, Inspire. See, I went with Inspire instead of Kill. Ritual of Enlightenment. Oh no, look how... <laughs> I give my bunnies a holy day to rest. I must be such an evil bunny. And yes, I'm a capitalist religion, so, you know... Bribing, bribing my followers is a great way of, of getting their you know, belief in materialism because this is this, this ritual of enrichment. I love the ritual of enrichment. I take your shit. <laughs> but yeah, law and order, <laughs> ascend follower ritual because I wanted to to do it the nice way. Wedding, a belief in absolution, freedom above all else because I'm never gonna go with an authoritarian reign. Loyalty and <laughs> which is funny because I got believe in absolution, but I also have loyalty enforcers. I love how contradictory religions are. This is every religion, folks. <laughs> Feasting ritual, grass eat I did grass eaters because I wanted to feed them grass. You can feed them poop if you want. You can have a whole, you know, a whole religion dedicated to feeding them shit. Observe. It's one of the things you can cook for them. I love it. <laughs> There, here it is. Bowl of poop. A meal, quote-unquote, made of excrement. 50% <laughs> chance of causing illness and diarrhea. <laughs> ah, oh, ah. You and, then, and then there's the, the upgraded version of the bowl of poop called the deadly dish. 75% <laughs> of, the, of the follower dying instantly. Like, I can feed eight of my guys a deadly dish right now if I want to. And eight of my villagers would die. 100% chance of dropping valuable resources. That would be the, the payoff, though. Please, please do not kill the I'm not going to kill my bunnies because I'm a benevolent leader. I just I just take their money. <laughs> and, and their faith. Look, they, they even pray to me. They pray to me in their homes. Look, I, I'm taking their home's faith. Yes, give me all that delicious faith. Give me your faith. Ugh. But yeah, folks, this is not a Satanist game. So, uh, yeah, y you feel like worshipping Satan yet? Because, uh, yeah, I, I I haven't felt like I've needed to to worship Satan just yet. Let's give some... Right? Yeah, you're, in, you're into a complete... Oh, yeah, I have a confession booth. Let's, uh, let's see what horror here has to say. Shalom, are you God? I love bowls of poop. <laughs> hey, give me your faith. Believe in me. Yay, believe in me and, and, and ye shall... Oh, here's the funny thing. At nighttime, there's these spiders that you can hunt. Ah, no. You can hunt down the spiders. Come on, spider! There we go. 
and you get morsels of meat. You can you can feed spider meat to your to your flock. Oh god, faith is is at an all-time low. Let's uh let's upgrade my uh, upgrade my praying pray the the prey station. It's this is the prey station two right here. Oh oh spider. What are you doing, little? Aw, yes. Help me build the prey station two. <laughs> the prey station. Oh spider. Oh, you guys are gonna love the spider meat. Oh, there it is. Hey, don't tell the other bunnies I'm feeding them spider meat, all right? I know you saw me. That that that's not the meat you're eating. Trust me. They eat spiders. For them to eat their own shit. Fascinating bunny facts from the number one bunny lover on this planet. Good to know, sweetie. <laughs> I even like the music. It's like. Chop down some trees, make more wood. Just another day in the bunny hood. It's a beautiful day in the bunny hood. A beautiful day for a bunny. Would you be mine? See, they even give me their offerings because, you know. Damn, one bunny had four gold bars. That, that bunny is rich. Alright. Alright, folks, give me your faith. And then, if you get enough faith, Come on, get me to 100. You little shits! I'm gonna have to kill one of you fuckers now. No, no, they refuse to give me enough faith. Let's see. Uh, yeah, but they don't give me less to, yeah, I need to sacrifice a follower today. You're gonna, you're gonna get less faith. Yeah, but this. Just killing, it, get, get, killing him gives me a one time faith. Uh, let's get one of the hungrier ones. These guys are full. I'm gonna get one of the hungry ones. That way, you know, less mouth to feed. This guy's at 80. He's also old. All right, Thorno, you're dead. Time to die, motherfucker. He's like, yay! Come kill me! <laughs> Splorch. This is the one that gives me the bones. I hope. There we go. Now, now you're playing with power. Yes, pray to me. Yes. 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 I am the bunny lord. For he is lord. There's the bones of the bunny. See, and we did a good thing. <laughs> See, the... The game doesn't make a, you know... Now I'm going to give you guys a holy day. We're going to celebrate the fact that we killed our, our buddy. By having taking a vacation! <laughs> there you go. See, look at that. You get to mourn the buddy that you just killed. We all killed him together, folks. Now there's only 12 of us. Time to get some more faithful. But first, let's give you some food. Before we go on our journey, uh, let's see: cherry cauliflower, tasty fish. Okay, <laughs> well, some of you are gonna eat good; the rest of you are gonna eat fucking grass. <laughs> uh, not at the beginning, they didn't. <laughs> oh shit! I burnt one of them. The 
burnt offering. Oh. Great leader, do you think we can have something extravagant to eat? Like some delicious fish feast? Sure. Here, just let me... Hey, there's bathrooms, assholes. This is what I made the outhouses for. Stop, stop shitting on the floor. Hey, no puke. This is what I made outhouses for, so you wouldn't frickin' poop and puke all over the place. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go get some fish for them. Yeah, they. Ah, it's so cute. How can you object to this game? You gotta be one hell of a sourpuss. Bought some fish from the fisherman there. Well, I need to make more money. I may have to, you know, extort some money from my bunnies. Anyhow! Bunny money! Bunny money! Honey, bunny money! Let's go to the, uh... Let's go to my chat! This year, Jesus would have given... Uh, yeah, about 2009, Noah's playing, paying attention to Boris. Now, uh, sacrifice the rich guy. Yeah, see? Awesome. Sacrifice the guy who looks like he sniffs booty holes. What happens if you sacrifice all of them? Yeah, you get a screen that says you and your followers are dead, game of Yes, you do. <laughs> bunnies reproduce. Only 12 bunnies? What a fit load of shock. <laughs> Gonna eat turd burgers, yeah. So, yeah. You've seen the game, right? So, now, now that you've seen the game, I hope you, you've drawn your conclusions over how evil or good it is. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. So, uh, yeah. That is Cult of the Lamb, folks. I think watching now back to me. Anyhow, that is Cult of the Lamb, guys. Now, I would like to turn your attention to what the fundies are saying about this. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> hey, I had to show them the game first. Right. <laughs> This video shows some of the disturbing ways our children and Christianity are being attacked. Can you believe that shit was in my YouTube feed? Oh. Howdy, y'all. I'm Brylan. Now, it is no secret that in our society right now, there's a huge push to redefine what truth is. We're trying Nobody to redefine likes what the truth, truth is. anymore, especially when it's the type of truth that causes any type of conviction. And naturally, when you have to redefine the truth, you have to redefine God. So you're seeing a huge push in our society where God is being redefined to be what subscribe for God, motherfucker. God is. That's who God is. God is made in the. God is telling you to like and subscribe this video. Hey, wait, isn't that like, I don't know, a cult or something? <laughs> You're asking people to, to give you likes. Isn't that the same thing as the bunnies trying to give me their faith? What if I don't want to give you my like? Are you going to sacrifice me to, you, to Yahweh? Image of self. He is made in the image of man instead of man being made in the image of God. And um, Hey, newsflash for you. If man is made in the image of God, then isn't God made, you know, by definition, aren't, aren't they pretty much equal, the same? You know, I mean, man made an image of God, your God is made in our image since we're, we look the same, right? You know, just thinking, you're, you got very circular logic there. And of course, the Bible, uh, <laughs> this is... The Bible magically produces a Bible, like... Is that supposed to elicit sympathy or? <laughs> He's like, I can't wait to have this Bible show up in my. <laughs> Here's a Bible. So outdated. So in order to what? Wait, did you truth, say the Bible is so outdated? And of yeah, course, I agree. The Bible. Well, this is so outdated. It so in is. Order to redefine truth, you have to redefine God. And in order to redefine God, there has to be some sort of demoralization oh, no. of the sovereignty of God. Of Preach on, Brian! Brian of Brother Brian, tell us all about the God! God. We have to demoralize society. 
Preach home, and then brother! Like, or just outright attacks on Christianity. And you're seeing that today, an outright attack on Christianity. There's an outright on attack morals, on Christianity. On truth, Them video games. God. I want to show you something that is absolutely astonishing. And oh. it is demonic. And it's demonic. a particular video game. That video is released, game, demonic. That is geared towards children. It's just evil. And I'll show you that game in just a second. It's going to absolutely blow. It's going to blow your first, mind, I want to brother. Recap some stuff that's been going on in our society and why this cannot be overlooked. We you must can't overlook it, brother. Our you can't overlook it. From this demonic push. <laughs> demonic is that so demonic, brother. Bliss? Well, that can't be further from the truth. Oh, and I'm getting the vapors has over here. That saying, ignorance is bliss. Basically, I don't have to recognize sin. I don't have to call out any sin. I don't have sin. to call out any immoral sin. behavior or anything that looks like it's against sin. the word of God. I don't have to call that out because the more ignorant I am to things, the oh, less judgment I am. Preach home, brother. Home, and brother the Bible God. says don't and judge. Talk right? about the right? sins no, the, the Bible says game. don't judge hypocritically. We should should be using what the Bible calls right judgment. The Daily Grace Company is a wonderful company. Ah, here we go! They have Bible study guides. You got they have pens and highlighters. They have journals. Give these they people your money. Cards, verse cards, Bibles. Just, they just put out their just, most requested. Yeah, yeah, like, what? Put out their most requested what? Bible study ever. <laughs> and it's on the book of Esther. Oh, yeah. Buy, buy the Bible study on <laughs> the book of Esther. Uh, <laughs> or as, or, or as uh, the your your bunny. What, what's her name? Uh, huh? Your your bunny. Your your the, the bunny show on PBS. What's her? Eleanor. Eleanor. That's so not interesting. <laughs> This is this book of Esther Bible study is something that even she would go, nah, fuck no, that's not interesting. She wants to be a scientist. <laughs> she wants to be a scientist. There's no way that she would find that interesting. Eleanor, Eleanor wants I think we found her match. The one thing she wouldn't find interesting, the book of Esther. Off right now, fifty percent off. Link in the description below. It I can buy it for ten dollars. Thank you. Nothing, but Thank you, Jesus. Hey, would you consider subscribing to this fuck channel no. and being a part of this community with us? And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. YouTube pushes this video out there. Demi more Lovato. Let's just you get like to the it. video game so itself. You. Look what Ephesians 4 17 through 19 oh, says. Now, this I say and testify in the Lord that you must no longer walk as the Gentiles do in the futility, futility of their minds. Mind. I must be so evil just for sitting here mocking this man. Really? You know? I mean, because, you know, the, what we're I know, right? The the futility and the minds playing the video games, rotting the brains, making the children's all evil. When you, you know you can be they a benevolent are darkened leader if in their, you want. Created us to be, which is in a right relationship. A Let's just get to the video, man. You're talking about Lil Nas for fuck's sake. It, like, get to the point. Blasphemy. Get on with and it. Then there's there was supposed to be actual oh. blood throughout. Wait, 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 wait. What the out hell? These she or tried to put out these shoes where the number six six six. These the demonic side. shoes Luke from Nike. Absolute, just th these. Th this is absolute blasphemy here. And then there's there was supposed to be actual blood throughout this red. Oh here. come on, and actual on blood. You really think Nike was gonna put actual blood in a shoe? How gullible are you? <laughs> Like they'd have to explain where that blood came from and everything. It'd be a, it'd be a like a, it'd be a terrible freaking PR nightmare for them. Now I'm guessing if they were gonna put some liquid in those shoes, it would be liquid that looks like blood but isn't. But you know, shoes. It comes with a little pentagram. Oh no, the shoe now, has a tried pentagram. to release these shoes, but they never actually got released. Thank goodness. But. They never got released, thank goodness. So what about the person who wants to wear a pentagram on their shoes? Where's their thank goodness? It would, it would match really great with my pentagram skirt. Yeah, like, let people wear whatever the hell they want to wear. How about how about you you, you get off your freaking high horse, let people wear and play whatever the fuck they want? This entire industry, the music industry, is what controls the Christian music industry as well. Oh, God, sadly. I'm not interested in And it's in this it. kind of stuff Jeez. that 
the Christian music you want you want my like much to. there is a huge uptick, I don't even have the energy to do a dislike for, for you bro absolute demonic satanic oh here we go here we go dumbing Satan down glorifying him and making an innocence of Satan and this home, is being pumped into the minds of our children tell us how the minds of the children's being destroyed is a new video game that was just released called Cult of Lamb. Cult this is of a video the Lamb. Game marketed towards children. It's so not. Here's the video game Cult. It is not marketed towards children. That is a lie. Cult of Lamb. This is a video game that sold very well. It, it's it's one of the the most. Yeah, fun games tend to do that. Funny thing that, right? Played games of the month of August. It was just released in August. And reviewers... I'm sad I didn't play it until December. ...for this game are giving it 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. They're, they're giving this game such a high review, which is making it seem more appealing. I'm not... Uh... <laughs> yeah, because they liked it, dipshit. They gave it an 8 or a 9, I imagine because they felt it deserved an 8 or a 9. Just saying, they're not they're not doing it because they want to destroy society. I'm saying all video games, all entertainment, all movies, all shows, all music is bad. That's not what I'm saying. It's things it's like this that dumb down satanic themes. Dumb and down satanic children, themes. And children absorb these things. I just played it for half an hour. Did you see anything satanic in there? No, it's just the way the art is. There's nothing satanic. There, there's no mention of the word Satan in the entire thing and are unknowingly pulled away from God. And you can see all the occultism in this, the three eyes over here. The oh no, eye the right three here, eyes! The pentagram here. Oh no, now, the pentagram must be satanic! this is a game about leading a cult. And let me just show you something. I want to go all the way Good down. Good God, I can't... I, it's not even a... Here's the thing is, if you see it... Here, let me look up a, a, an actual pentagram because... Because what, what you see in there is not the... This this isn't yeah. You're probably thinking of a pentacle. Yeah. If worn for This isn't exact the the star in the game is slightly different. I think for that reason. They want people to to think about this imagery, but it's not actually that, you know? They want to imply it. Oh yeah, these bitches too. <laughs> to the bottom but we're going to go through and, and examine some of this here but oh no me out of the way do you see down here in the very bottom corner it says rated t for teen yeah. that means a 13 year old can walk into the store and buy this game without yeah. their parents knowing it. yeah now look at what you do in this game build, build your, your flock, flock collect and use resources to uh -huh. build new structures perform dark rituals to appease the gods and give sermon the gods within the game dude the gods within the game. No kid is going to... This is the same argument behind, oh, video games cause sexism, video games cause violence. No. No kid's going to be like, you know what? Now I feel like worshipping Satan. No. Because there, the game doesn't tell you that. There's no subliminal messages here telling you to worship Satan. No. It's just a game. It's a game mechanic. Which the creators of the game thought it would be interesting to make a game where, where you are... The servant of a god who also has god's powers imbued into you, and what would you do if you had such powers? That's all it is. Do you see this? To reinforce like any game, the faith it's a fantasy. Flock. This is all about having a cult that worships Satan, and you no. keep them. Or no, no mention of Satan. Do you, does it say Satan there? No, it doesn't. Worshiping Satan to reinforce them in their <laughs> worship. Check this out. You're worshiping them, Satan. Worshiping Satan. To reinforce them in their worship. Check this out. You get to destroy non-believers. Yes. Explore a sprawling, randomly generated. There are rival. There are four, you know, rival, you know, gods who are all teamed up together. Who actually, at the beginning of the game, were sacrificing you. And then this one fifth god, who was once a part of their group, decided to bring you back to life so that you would serve him and start a new religion in his name. That's the the theme of the game. Uh, no, you're not, you're not destroying Christians. You're not destroying Muslims. You're not destroying any, any real life known religion. It's just cutesy animals with cutesy animal gods. Well, maybe the gods themselves don't look cutesy, but y you know what I mean. 
regenerated world, fight off hordes of enemies, and defeat rival cult leaders in order to absorb their power, their souls, and assert your... <laughs> their power. Now, it doesn't say souls. There's a difference between power and souls, dude. You shouldn't add stuff that's not there. You said that on purpose because you want to elicit a response from your audience. And I'm not going to let you get away with that shit. Your cult's dominance. And then this is very disturbing as well. Do you see where it says right here, spread your word? Train your flock and embark on a quest to explore and discover the secrets of four mysterious regions. Yeah. Cleanse the non-believers, <laughs> spread enlightenment, and perform mystical... I like how he steps on that. Cleanse? You mean cleanse, cleanse Christianity, don't you? You, you are against Christianity. Cleanse the non-believers. What, is he going to say that, that this is some See, sort of... the problem is, is that he's filling in the... <laughs> he's filling in the blanks with ideas that aren't there. That he's aren't just... He, this guy is just... He's, he's got this psychopathic, you know, ad adherence to his religion that is so crazy that all he can see is, is blasphemy, blasphemy, blasphemy. 24-7, his brain is just launching blasphemy over and over in his brain. ...rituals on a journey to become the mighty lamb god. These developers... Like, who's the one who's really brainwashed here, sweetie? Me, who's playing a cutesy game and I can tell the difference between, you know, a real cult and a imagined cult inside a video game? Or this guy who sees Satan blasphemy, Satan, Satanism, blasphemy everywhere. Like, this guy's fucking... <laughs> he's deranged. ...aren't dumb. The, the developers of games like this... They're not dumb. They're not a bunch of nerds sitting around. Just, yes, they oh, are. Let's do something evil because that's cool. They no, no, you're wrong. The guys that made this game are nerds. They just did it for they. They did it because they thought it'd be an interesting thing to explore. Hey, what if we gave your character these little god powers that the more your your guys pray to them, you get better and better powers and build better and better shit? Wouldn't that be a fun game to play? Yes, they did it because they're nerds. <laughs> they know exactly what they're doing, and they're creating something to demoralize no, they're children. Not. To they're creating something to make money. <laughs> they're making a fun game to make money, dipshit. These demonic themes, <laughs> and they know what they're doing. To entice your children, entice your to children. Think of all these demonic things as a joke. It's just they're not a dude. This guy lives in a freaking black and white world inside his mind. Where, where the, <laughs> yeah, he lives in a chick track. Holy shit, sweetie, you you hit it right there. This guy is a walking, talking chick tract. Holy shit, <laughs> you get a gold star for that one, sweetie. A child's plaything. Romans 1, 18 oh, 23 shit. says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness <laughs> and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made so they are without excuse people are without excuse the very nature and existence of god is clear in his creation we yeah so if god created that then by by extension god created this video game meaning god wanted you to enjoy this video game <laughs> now shut up and either enjoy it or don't I mean, yeah, everything is God-made, right? Everything has to be God-inspired. They had to get those ideas from somewhere. I guess they must have gotten them from Satan. But I would think Satan is such a, uh, you know, an arrogant, self-serving character in the Bible that you would think he'd want his name on, on the project, right? I think Fucking Satan... Satan asked this, these, these nerdy freaking programmers to make this video game in his honor, and it didn't occur to him to go, hey, by the way, put my name in there, please. <laughs> I want people to I want people to, to go to my religion. Cannot say God doesn't exist because there's no proof. God has shown himself and made himself known through his very creation. For yes, all those including, you know, Freaking, in, including fiction, including Cult of the Lamb. So, yeah. Ooh. 
I, I feel like playing another hour of Cult of the Lamb just so that I can, you know, uh, show my love for the Lord and his creations. His wonderful creations, video games included. Though they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him. Oh, I, I thank God for bringing me you because you are a fucking riot. I bet, I, I bet you kill it at parties. Utile in their thinking. And their foolish hearts were darkened. And their Claimed foolish wise, hearts were darkened. They became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal Darkness. God for images of me. mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. You know, it's very clear that we're in a society that doesn't like the truth. Which I wonder if this guy made a video earlier in the year about dark souls because that's way darker than than these fucking cutesy animals killing each other. <laughs> Oh, God, you kill me, bro. You kill me. <laughs> let's let's go to the... Let's go to my comments. Oh, God. I can't. I can't. <laughs> that nerd's fucking around. Exactly. <laughs> no. Game dude is saner than this guy. <laughs> oh, God. Game dude is saner than this guy. That's saying a lot. Like, what the fuck? Game dude is saner than this guy. <laughs> He's basically the hipster version of Gaul or uber hipster version of their souls. <laughs> Lame guy making, you want, making me want to play the game more. Yeah! No average <laughs> cleanse. Cleanse! Eight, eight D chess. This is like that PSA religion, guys. Uh, some people blame all their problems on Jewish people. They're nerds fucking... <laughs> they take vice... <feist> <laughs> oh, God, translate him into German. I thought these people only need read Romans to justify hating gay people. By that logic, the game overlord is satanic. Yeah. Oh, no pulling verse. <laughs> the flames coming out of this <laughs> butthole creature was more entertaining. <laughs> Futile. <laughs> I thought he was going to... Like and think the game is unique. Yeah, no. <laughs> I bet he hates Happy Tree Friends. <laughs> this, this is literally what it is. It's fucking Happy Tree Friends. Like, what's so what's so objectionable about Happy Tree Friends? It's they're, they're not real animals getting maimed and killed. There, they're just. See, here's the thing. I've never liked it for its content, but I don't judge anybody for it. Yeah, you, and you shouldn't. You it's like. like it, Go, go right ahead and enjoy. It. Right, it's but not my bad. this, yeah, this is literally Happy Tree Friends, the video game. Happy Tree Friends is not my bag. Video is almost over. It means they don't like God, which means what? they don't like. Very clear that we're in a society that doesn't like the truth, which means they don't like God, which means they don't like. No, they don't like your truth, Chief. Uh, your truth is not the same as my truth, because uh, you think that this game. You've, sp you've spread a lot of untruths about this game. Let's face it. There's no Satanism in the game other than that which you see. And you're talking to me about truth. <laughs> how about how about we, we, you know, invent a little more honesty here to quote fucking Rick and Morty of all things. God's word. And our society is God's doing everything word. it can to desensitize children children from demonic themes and it's going my kid wouldn't even want to play this thing <laughs> it's clearly geared towards adults but you know yeah, just because they have these cutesy little animals he's like oh must be for kids uh yeah adult swim kind of shits all over that theory to lead this entire generation in to Destruction. destruction let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below i would love to hear from you and also if you feel led would you consider donating to this channel and if you're support, <laughs> here it comes you the give me money part of the money you give me basis, money now please know there's absolutely no every sermon here. asking for tithing hey i do it with my cult too i tell the bunnies to give me their money so hey <laughs> you, there's nothing more religious than that bro subscribe button and being a part of this community with us i would yeah love that. i'm a that subscribe right well, now you? you know when you like this video youtube push <laughs> go go and like and subscribe tell him asa sent you oh, <laughs> get, God, give him a like and subscribe and tell him asa sent you <laughs>
the cult of, of fat gay fatness. So yeah, that was the normalization of evil. And then, on the other side of things, you have these two dumb bitches. Is Cult of the Lamb problematic? Oh, shit, lady. Yeah, let's uh, lower that. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the clown. Hello, I'm Fat Rolls. I'm Fat Rolls, and this is Pink Shirt. I'm Gus. I'm Gus. <laughs> yeah, you look like a Gus. You look like you drank a lot of Gus. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Thank you so much for being Jesus. here. If you'd like to I mean, I'm fat. a little like, a little cup. And for those of you who are like, but Asa, you're fat too. Yeah, I'm fat. But uh, it's, because, it's because I'm fat that I can recognize fellow fatness. That, my friends, is a fat. Um, uh, and, come on. And I, I don't... The only time I display my fat is when I'm trying to do a bit or something. I don't normally go like, hey guys, here... Let me just show you my fucking fat rolls. Yeah. Yep. Hey, I'm displaying that for you to, you know, enjoy, you know. Here, let, let me show you my rolls. Little subby wubby, we'd really appreciate it. Give you a subby wubby. To hear your input. Especially because Why of today's so topic, sense? because we <laughs> are confused. Bitch, I wouldn't give you a subby wubby if, if you threatened to cut my tongue off. So I am confusion. And we really want this what to was, be a what discussion. The, what we was, are confused. So I am confusion. And we We are confused. And then they showed a picture of today's topic because we are confused. So I What's the joke? I'm confusion and they point a a map of southern United States. I am confusion. Um, no, um, the people that live there tend to be like Southern Baptists, not Confucian. I am Confucian, and right. we really want this to be a discussion. We yeah, are I not bet. trying to tell anybody how to feel. Yes, you we are. Want our opinions out there so that people can think on it. That's all. We don't want to tell anybody how to feel. Thank you for brainwashing cults, colonialism, death, drugging, and mentions of vomit. Please, yeah, yeah, you're not trying to elicit a response or nothing. Oh, we think this is important to talk about, so we're going to talk about it. So today we are going to be talking about the brand new game that everybody in the gaming community is raving about. It is called huh. Cult of the Lamb. So basically, we're going to describe the game, and as we go, we're just going to say You're going to describe the game, opinions. but you're not going to play it. For our sources, we are going to be using some articles that we found. We are also going to be looking at an interview with one of the game developers. Oh, um, two of the game developers. Two of the game developers, a lot more information. Without Please. further ado, this is Cult of the Lamb. Please, go. Go, go, go. Let, let Daddy do his fun streaming. You don't get to do this often anyway. This is from IGN. Cult uh -huh. of the Lamb puts you in the fluffy hooves of a cult leader. I, I can read it resurrected later. by an imprisoned deity called the One Who Waits. Now it's up to you to free your master by... I'm surprised this bitch knows how to read. By recruiting new followers to the flock, building a base for them to live in. And <laughs> the other lady's like, uh, I'm, thank you for reading the wordy words for me. <laughs> going on bloody crusades against the otherworldly entities that trapped him. So yeah, that trapped him, you see? Group of gathering supplies, tending to your worshippers, upgrading both your character and your homestead, and then going out to do it again is extremely satisfying. With a charming yeah. art style and yeah. expressive animations that bring a bit of joy to every ruthless corner of it. Yep. I think that's a part of the problem because uh -oh. the game style is beautiful. This animation is absolutely stunning. That yeah. I will not deny the music. I watched a trailer. The music is great. Apparently the gameplay is pretty good. I'm yeah, not I had trying fun to with shit it. on that. It's just the concept of it. I just think they could have gone in a different direction. Oh, because they could have gone in a different direction. Honey, you could have gone in a different direction and put some fucking clothes on, but I'm not telling you. Hey, you do you. Show your flab. Yeah, you're a cult leader. We should note that this game is rated PG-13. Just know that all those young and <laughs> cute li little animals rated PG-13. Brutate-loving men with god complexes can get their hands on this game. 
Is that okay? Yeah, Especially it's knowing a game. that, you know, you can marry your followers, yeah. brainwash yeah. them, drug them, yeah. etc. Yeah. No matter how Is it okay to watch Game of Thrones? Because, you know, people were drugged, killed, you know, murdered, had had their dick chopped off. Oh, we shouldn't be watching that, should we? Isn't it glorifying violence? Oh no! Oh, you slice and dice it and make it adorable and cute and put it into video game packaging. You're a cult leader. Putting it in this very digestible, cute... So if they made a cartoon show about it, you know, then would it, would it, would it be, you know, less objectionable by your standards? Packaging diverts you from what it really is, which is you being a cult leader. That is something that cults do as well. They put this fluffy, beautiful wrapping paper on this box they? of poop that they have. Box and they're of like, poop? Box of poop. You, see, you're already making a, you know... You're making a judgment call on a thing you haven't even played. You wouldn't know... I mean... You think it's gonna be great, and then you get sucked into it. You don't realize what's wrong. It's talking about cults. I'm not talking about the game. It's yes, just you are. interesting. <laughs> if they I'm not talking about the game. Thank you for brainwashing cults, colonialism, death drugging, and mentions of yeah. You're you're very much talking about the game. I wanted to spread awareness on cults and cult-like things. They could have had you. In They're not. Nobody's trying to spread awareness here. It's a video game. They're trying. What they're trying to spread is fun. And the these guys who made this game, they want to make money, so they make a fun, addicting game, and make money for it. What a concept, right? Not everything has to be political. Not everything has to have a message attached to it. It's just fun. And if it's not your kind of fun, then don't play it. The POV of a person in a cult that is trying to get out. It's strange that they felt that they needed to get this message across through being a cult leader. I really don't. There's no message. Lady, there's no message. Get it through your fucking, well, <laughs> your empty skull. <laughs> like that they're using the word crusade. Oh, and guess how many there are. Just guess. Four. The fact that in this game you are going to different lands, killing their gods, and then converting the people that were in those lands to... Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, you're going to the four, you know, ancient gods who actually tried to kill you and trying to take away their power and take it for yourself and get revenge in the process. That's really all it is. That's story-wise what it is. Um, you're not... You're, you're not going to foreign lands and taking over their people. Uh, no, the the people that you get into your cruise into your cult uh, are people who are going to be sacrificed by these old gods. So you're giving them a choice. Hey, would you rather that guy over there kill you or do you want to join my religion? I'm giving you a choice. Your cult. That is colonization. It is starting no, to it smell isn't. like Manifest Destiny. Starting no, it isn't. To? Video game ethics are obviously a gray moral area. Yeah, but a lot of the time I'll say. When it comes to that gray area of video, these two bitches must have been the same two bitches that that, <laughs> that probably ten years ago talked about sexism in video games, and now they're trying to tell me not to enjoy a game about a cute little lamb sacrificing their their flock. <laughs> game ethics yeah you tell me Usually what's what you're an ethical are person morally unacceptable to it's morally unacceptable to walk out in public with that roll of flab on you let's talk about objectionable yuck fucking put a put a shirt on lady it's hard to watch you for 14 fucking minutes the public at large cults are not morally unacceptable by the public at large 3.5 million people are in what Santa wait, wait, wait time when it comes to that gray area of video game ethics usually those things are morally unacceptable okay morally unacceptable to the public at large cults are not morally unacceptable uh -oh. cults are not morally acceptable you put a not you put a not in front of there Don't think you double negative she just did. huh I don't think you realize what she just did. what'd she do she Oh. Uh, uh, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 JD. No, 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 no. You give me those right now. No, no, no. I'm going to have you toss those she around. She was very easily able to. 
climb up and reach. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something about that. It's a lot bigger than she used to be. Anyhow. By the public at large. 3.5 million. But yeah, did you hear that? She's like, things it's not morally, morally unacceptable. unacceptable to the public at large. Cults are not morally unacceptable by the public at large. Cults are not morally unacceptable. Yeah. She said that very she, badly. She said that very badly because she did a double negative and didn't yeah. realize it. That's because she's something called stupid. 3.5 million people are in Scientology alone, and that's one cult. We uh-huh. didn't realize Which that means the Scientology... you consider that morally acceptable or unacceptable? Because we need to establish which side you're on, lady. The number isn't accurate, but we learned that Jehovah's Witness, a group found to be essentially a cult or cult-like by many experts, Oh man, the Jehovah's, Jehovah's Witnesses are going to hate you for this. Amy Comey Barrett comes from a cult group that she has not denounced and is literally in the Supreme Court. There's hundreds of thousands of people globally who have been affected by cults and their tactics, sometimes with no government or social What's intervention. Got to do with Most people video wouldn't game? say that they support cults, but cults are not socially and legally condemned the way that they should be. This game is also meant to be a cheeky critique of the Catholic Church, hence details like the Four Crusades, the symbol of the Lamb, etc. But I think we can make valid crit- Yeah, play the game, lady. If you played the game, you'd realize what they mean by crusade, and it has nothing to do with Christianity versus Muslims. None of that. You're not invading people's lands. You're not trying to take back the Holy Land. Nothing of the sort. JD, come on, JD. Critiques about the Catholic Church without and this is why I need my own recording booth. and forced conversion a fun little game. This is something that still affects a lot of people. Some of the things that you cult do in the game affect a lot of people, so you shouldn't play a video game about cults people affecting people. Let's read this next section of the IGN article. Despite the horrible appearance of Cult of the Lamb's largest enemies, many of them will delightfully turn into adorable friends your size upon defeat. Friends yeah. who can then be recruited into your cult back yeah, what home. A concept. You're telling me that you forcibly convert people by beating them in a... No, you don't. Because you can also let them go. You don't have to bring them into your cult. You can actually just move into the next room and not recruit them. A fight. You literally get them to the point of death, or it's either you die or join my cult. Nothing like that. You realize that happened to indigenous people all across. Oh America. no, indigenous like, people across the world. To make that a gameplay plot for fun. I'm trying not to judge. I just really. I'm don't trying understand. not to judge. I'm just I being super understand. judgmental and never playing I mean, the that's fucking why thing. We're here. We want yeah. to understand. Do if you want to understand it, play it. But I saw a comment in here somewhere. Where someone asked them, hey, are you going to play the damn thing? And they said no. Like, they literally will not play it. Ah, here we go. Let's see if it's in shot in, in range here. Do you plan on playing the game? Honestly, no. A- af- no, after seeing some of the stuff we saw. Plus, we have too many games that we want to play and are playing right now. So, they refuse to play the game. So, they're making a judgment call without even knowing what the game is like. That's stupidity, ladies. You you both are stupid. Fucking stupid. Open your fucking gobs once you've touched the damn thing. About the fact you know, that multi-level not that you know the concept of touch. Nobody on this tactics. earth would want to touch either one of you fucking really idiots harpies. Like they have said the same thing. So over time, as you build your cult, you can get them to do things. That means things like watering your farms by hand can eventually be handled by your recruits. And more interesting options gradually open up that lend you send followers off on expeditions for resources or even temporarily turn them into demons that that can assist you in battle. Yeah. So they die for you. We haven't yeah. even gotten to the sacrifices yet. Yep, they die for you. America, explain! This next article is going to be from Rock Paper Shotgun. 
Cult of the Lamb gets off to a roaring start. You begin life as a lowly lamb awaiting sacrifice at an altar of the old faith before the four Eldritchin bishops, the big bosses of the game. Uh -huh. Within seconds, you're executed. But yeah. then you're brought back from death by a chained godlike being known as the One Who Waits, uh -huh. who promises life and otherworldly powers in exchange for your servitude. In the span of two... So you're reading it there. And it already tells you that these four eldritch bishops tried to kill you and failed. And you're telling me that it's about freaking crusades. So see see where you're seeing stuff where where it isn't? You're you're trying to add shit that isn't there. That's called ignorance, ladies. You two are ignorant. Minutes from starting the game, you've turned from willing ignorance too, because you're reading it. Unstoppable servant of death itself, slashing apart old faith cultists like blades of fleshy grass. So many cults use religious tactics to keep people in them, so it's even worse. To me, oh that no, we can't turn that aspect. into a game. Religion uses cult tactics sometimes, and then cults use religious tactics sometimes. It's like this weird incestual... If you doubt your power, you give power to your doubts. <laughs> this relationship. It's almost like a Venn diagram. Oh. Oh! Oh! You would have been. It would have like been diagram. Taking out Which way did he go, George? Like the tagline said, slaughtering them. I don't know how I feel about that. Now we are going to get into a cheeky little article called "How to Brainwash Followers in Cult of the Lamb" from Twinfinite Net. Yeah, we are brainwashing people. Straight up. I guess you need mushrooms to do this. So yeah. you have to drug them. 25 mushrooms to do the brainwashing ritual, and it... You don't have to do the brainwashing ritual. It helps for gameplay purposes, but you don't have to. Matter of fact, one of the, you know, one of the... When, when you're building your religion, right, at the beginning of the game... One of the things can be prohibition of, 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 of illegal substances. You can actually prohibit your, your guys from, from you know, taking mushrooms. I like giving my, my guys mushrooms. You know? But some other person playing it might not. You're not forced to do the brainwashing thing. Rewards you 100 plus faith. So you basically drug your phone. What is, it, what is it you two bitches are trying to do with your video? Hmm. Is it brainwash people into not playing a, a game because you feel like it, 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 it's objectionable to you? Aren't you trying to brainwash people right now? Followers to get them to believe what you say. You can read minds. You can sacrifice people. Yeah. You can put them inside like little fences. Like you, solitary confinement? Yeah. You solitary confinement them and then you yeah. keep brainwashing them. You just block yeah. them off from the outside world until they're completely brainwashed? Yep. Yeah. Something we didn't mention here is that your cult followers literally ask to eat your poop. Yeah. Nope. That's one of the many, 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 many things that a, that a, that a cult follower might ask you to do. And hey, if, if one of my followers wants to eat poop, who am I to tell them no? Because they're not poking fun at people who are in cults at all. Also, if this is meant to punch up at the Catholic Church and not down at its adherents... Why this? Why jab at those people, many of whom have histories of forced conversion and colonialism? The fuck are you talking about, ladies? Play the fucking game! It's gonna be a lot of silence in this video because I feel like a lot of the. It's gonna be a lot of itself. stupidity in this video. Article on game rant. So this part of the article is talking about what can happen when you're dungeon crawling. Being gone for too long will result in cult members dying of starvation, yeah. getting sick when poop and dead bodies aren't cleaned up, yeah. or leaving if their faith isn't kept high. Yeah. It all comes together by requiring players to tend to the individual needs of different followers. Yeah. Even going so far. You have to uh, care for your flock that must be so evil are as to complete quests for them of course cult members can also be sacrificed in a number of ways if their specific needs are getting too much to deal with yeah so these cute little cult members of yours are just a means to an end and not only that but they can't think for themselves <laughs> because the second they do they can think for themselves they can actually leave your religion <laughs> If you suck at taking care of them, some of them will get dissatisfied and leave. <laughs> and I can't stop them if they do that. <laughs> 
do, you're just gonna sacrifice them. Or you're gonna put them in solitary confinement until they believe you again. Whatever you- Yeah. Fancy. This last part is going to be well, an interview with some of the developers. So we just kind of wanted to see what they're- You wouldn't know about fancy because nobody's ever fancied you, lady thought process was making this game and it's also on gamerant.com you know i really love occult stuff and cults i was probably just watching midsomar or some stuff like that and then we kind of started on the cult idea all the dots were connecting and we thought yeah it's a unique kind of fantasy that players can experience it is unique and they went into this and that's why people are playing this because it's unique it's with the mindset of, we are going to make a critique on organized religion. No, they're not. They're making something they thought was interesting. And we are going to do it in the sense of a cult, because cults are just a fantasy that aren't a thing in the real world. And I'm sorry. No, the game is just a fantasy, you moron. But you love cults. 13% of all... No they love the concept of cults as a narrative device. Not, they're not saying, hey, we love cults. We want to join one right the fuck now. And we made a game about cults to reflect our love for cults. Nothing like that was said. You guys are reading into it wrong because you're too ignorant sluts. North American households have had someone in an MLM. It's a unique kind of a fantasy. Or is yeah, it a real it is thing unique. That's Unlike you right two. Now? Dude, you I'm have sorry. nothing Cults unique going for you. You're not even people. unique in your fucking color choices. The fuck? People are affected by them. Like, a, a lot of people are in them. And even more are affected by them. Because yeah, of their family so you can't play a game about friends. them. God it forbid. It just feels like to me, he he, I could never be in a cult. So let me start one in a game. No. no, it's just a fun gameplay element he thought would be interesting. Just don't play it. After all, what do you know about fun? I bet you two are really fun to hang out with. Nope. None of you are too smart to not be in a cult. No one. You really think that you're smarter than these multi-billion dollar corporations? I'm smarter than you, that's for sure. Corporations whose job is built on deception? That's really funny. Multi like, what? Oh, he, he, what? I when did corporations give it a... What? ...whose job is built on deception. What? Too smart to not be in a cult. No one. You really think that you're smarter than these multi-billion dollar corporations? Who you're saying that multi-dollar, multi-billion dollar corporations are cults now? Are you saying Coca-Cola is a cult now? <laughs> You're saying fucking mobile is a cult now. What are you guys even talking about? There's not a single cohesive thought coming out of either of your empty fucking skulls. Whose job is built on deception. That's really funny. Being like, oh, he he, I could never. That's just a fantasy to me. Is no, the game is a fantasy, dipshit. Play it. Right now. Because it's not a fantasy for them. It is real fucking life. The question real this fucking life. Is, These bunnies getting killed in the game is real fucking life. What are some gameplay elements that are, might come into play that people aren't expecting? Mm -hmm. So what should they expect? I think we're trying to offer a way for you to create your own cult to some extent. We've been trying very hard to give you options of unlocking dark ritualistic sacrifice. Or maybe more of a happy, flower powery kind of direction with your cult. But yeah! What a concept! You can be a benevolent leader or a malevolent one, and the game doesn't judge you for being one or the other. It just says, here's the toy, play with it. Cult. Because the dark stuff is so much more fun that we kept leaning into the dark stuff. Because I think that's what's more interesting about this game. Design your own cult. It's just, it's weird to me. If you want to talk about the dark stuff with cults, it's people dying. It's violence. It's all kinds of atrocities being committed in the name of a charismatic leader and or their god. To put yeah. In a disarming it happens in our country too. I bet you two bitches would die for Joe Biden right now. Package that will make it digestible to people makes me mad. But certainly. I want Joe Biden to touch you both. <laughs> I want you to be sniffed by Joe Biden. You will unlock rituals, dark rituals that you can perform with or on your cult members. That's All a big part of, of the my... game. Preaching sermons that help brainwash your followers and teach <sighs> them certain beliefs. Okay, you... so they're just repeating themselves over and over again. Man. Fucking dumb bitches. <laughs> Ugh. The things you gotta hear online. Even Joe wouldn't touch them, yeah, no shit. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's go to the chat. One of them said even Joe wouldn't touch them. <laughs> yeah, even Joe has standards under what he'll sniff. <laughs> They're so shallow and so... <laughs> it's <just> so true. <laughs> oh, man, I gotta, gotta go through these here. Zawater, though! Not indigenous people! <laughs> yeah, no shit. The Aztecs literally conquered people and converted them by force and sacrifice. And yeah, but not indigenous people. I don't even care that the girl is fat, but why do you get spider webs tattooed on your body? Only they kept the video screen that size for the entire... Yeah. <laughs> Ignorant to the mat. This game has nothing to do with America. Also, the crusade started because the Seljuk Turks were killing people who made pilgrimages to the Holy Land. Read a book, lady. <laughs> you really think those two are going to read books? <laughs> You're giving them way too much credit. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> she came with peak midwittery. <laughs> tell us about the Crusades, George. Tell us about the Crusades. I need mushrooms to avoid making horribly sexist comments on your idiotic video <laughs> attempting to shoehorn gender politics and white guilt into everything. But they're not people; they're animals. <laughs> it's a game, idiots. <laughs> yeah. I saw different animals. It's not only yeah. There's there's tons of different animals. I just. I just turned all my guys into bunnies. That that was a personal preference thing. I wish there were more silence in this stupid video. <laughs> Me too. Oh, God. You already finished playing Monster Rancher? Oh, a long time ago. Battlefield 1942 might have been the worst music of it. Nirvana t-shirt and tattoos on the other checks out. <laughs> Wait till she sees Mephisto and Blackheart and Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> Pink shirt needs to stop hanging out with Spider Flap. <laughs> Pink shirt might be redeemable. Uh... I can fix them. They're so shallow. No, <laughs> it's just a pink shirt. Pink shirt. Name one Nirvana song. Not, not on. Never, not called. Never mind. Oh man, the irony. Oh, this is true. Kino Dog made 2007 content. I wish Andy Jr. would enjoy it too. <laughs> Which type of leader are you, Asa? I'm the type of live and let live kind of guy. Here comes the Trump rant. Yeah, I was, I was expecting it. I was expecting it. It didn't happen. Prepare them for the sniffing. <laughs> One village, two idiots. <laughs> A leader more corrupt than Nixon, which made us settle for the sequel to Jimmy. Yeah, no shit. I guess they've never seen the Coffin Joe series. Pretty sure they'll kill themselves after watching those. Joe would make Joe would puke at their smelly hair. <laughs> Play Monster Rancher 2. The smell alone would keep Joe. Monster Rancher 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. Took me a year to unlock Jill's. Took you a year? Took me like three days, bro. <laughs> Will you ever go back to the town of Salem and, and say a bunch of offensive shit? I think I already said a lot of offensive shit in this video. Movie Bob would agree with him and sit between... <laughs> movie Movie Bob would be like, Can either one of you be my girlfriend? I'll pay you in, in MasterCard or Visa. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. What a bunch of schmucks. You're like, oh, oh, don't don't hate on my video games. <sighs> I guess that's it. I'm uh I'm I'm, I'm th this video is probably going to get taken down because it was mean and I said mean things about these these two dumb dumb bitches, but I mean, come on, someone had to say it, right? I know I'm not nice. I just, you know, calls them as I see them. And anyhow, yeah, that was FIFA today, and that was uh, the people that hate uh, Cult of the Lamb today. Um, yeah, Kino Dog May 2007, Godwin said, give me a call, Say, saying hi to you, bro. Uh, give him the timestamp for, for that. Someone show Godwinson the timestamp. Tell him to call me. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Till next time, dear viewers.